L minus 10 minutes. CMD, LC. This is Atlas Launch Control. We're approximately 10 minutes from launch. All things on schedule for an 11 11 a.m. liftoff. I would like to welcome those of you who just joined us now on Facebook Live and 360 Stream. At this point in the countdown, we're about to hear the final poll of the launch team for coming out of the T minus four minute built in hold. And that will begin the terminal countdown. And the Atlas and the Centaur stages of the Atlas V will go on to internal power. The Cygnus cargo module just a short time ago was placed on internal power and put into the launch configuration. The weather is green. Let's check. The observer shall announce hold, hold, hold on channel one. Identify their station and briefly state the reason for the hold. Scott Barney briefing his final briefing to the launch team. LCS, yes. Go. Davis Systems, cameras configured to launch. Roger. OSM, verify the FCO, RCO, and OSM home fire switches are in the proceed position. Ready to proceed. Red line monitor and event table are in the correct configuration for terminal count. Roger. You guys, what's up? Launch on time, verified. Going to launch us a rocket here. RC, verify solar radiation acceptable for launch. Where do these folks know they're on camera? It's not spring break down LC there. Switch ready. So these are the locals, I'm going to guess, down in Florida. Check. Hey, Deckers, where are you, buddy? You out there today? Oh. So we shall watch this. Everything looks like it's a go. Yeah, looks like seven minutes. Seven minutes to go. Move me around here. Again, upon liftoff, we'll hear our launch vehicle, Telemetry Systems Engineer Marty Malinowski, calling the flight events. Right now, we're hearing our ULA launch conductor, Scott Barney, going through the countdown. Status check to proceed with terminal count. Respond go, no go. Atlas systems, propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Centaur systems, propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. LH2. Go. Asgas. Go. Electrical systems, airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTA. Go. Flight control. Go. Com. Go. Timer. Go. BCQ. Go. Umbilicals. Go. ECS. Go. Red line monitor. Go. Quality. Go. Ops safety manager. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Vehicle system engineer. Knock, knock. Vehicle go. system engineer, net one. Roger. Anomaly chief. AC is go. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. Launch director is go, and you have permission to launch. We are a go. Account. Timer set count to start at 15 colon 07 colon 26 Zulu. T0 is planned for 15 colon 11 colon 26 Zulu. Roger. Count will start at 15 colon 07 colon 26 Zulu. T0 is set for 15 colon 11 colon 26 Zulu. I hear a Zulu in there. Zulu. Alpha Zulu. All steps are complete prior to terminal count. Roger, Charlie. And we heard our go for launch from ULA Launch Director Bill Cullen. About a minute away from picking up the countdown at T minus four minutes.
Yeah, so the guy you're listening to, I hear, Whether he's retiring. Good, we'll get a final go from the range at L minus one minute. So the voice we've heard for years, so I wonder who's going to take his spot. Clock should be coming on any seconds second from now. Coming out of the hold. On my mark, the time will be P minus four minutes and counting. Three, two, one, mark. P minus three minutes, 55 seconds. Ground pyros enabled. Something about pyro to ground fire. All the status boards right now in the launch control center showing green. If you're cool and have 360 stuff, you can watch this, but there's also, you're watching on YouTube, I think they said you can uh, move the camera around. Two minutes, 50 seconds. FTS internal. Securing yellow two topping. Chiro is going from manual to automatic at this point on the rocket. At 25 seconds, we'll get a final go from the launch team. Minus one minute, 59 seconds. Vehicle internal. 55. On sequencer start. 150. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LO2. Countdown now on 140. automatic. 140. On enabled. 137. FDS arms. 130. 120. OCU's armed. SDS count started. 115. 110. Seven house locked. 2 minus 1 minute. Rock, report range status. Range green. 54. Range is go, including weather. Final go, pull at 25 seconds. 40. Stable at step 3. Minus 30 seconds. 28. 25. Status check. Go Centaur. Go OA7. 20. 20. Looks like I'm sleeping, doesn't it? T minus 10. 9. Go. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. Two, go for main engine start. One, oh, zero, yeah. and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket 
with Cygnus and the SS John Glenn, extending the research legacy for living and working in space. See just how heavy that thing is. Speeds and trigger pressures look good. HR roll program has begun. Body rates look good. Attack phase of flight. Pictures look good. Body rates are perfect. Coming down low. I remember when we were in school, but every time there was a shuttle launch during school, we would watch it. Roll TV into room while the kids get on there. Lock one. Of course, we watched the Challenger explode. That was a fun day. Through the sound Still barrier. remember that quite well. Max Q, body rates continue to look very good at this point in flight. Vehicle hitting maximum dynamic. Mr. has throttled back, right on schedule. Signatures look good. Engine throttle back to Max Q as customary. Five and a half miles. Current velocity is 1,929 miles per hour. Range track shows good progress right down the middle of the corridor. It's going pretty fast, huh? Nowadays, though, kids don't even get to watch anything in Booster school. Engine performance continues to look very good at this point. CPU control is near nominal. Body rates look good. So right now, if there's Bearing any type of launch or landing, point, body rates look good. The vehicle is now one half of its liftoff weight. Uh, I'll make my kids watch it. They love it too. Glad there's an NASA on the road too now. Has begun. Body rates look good. And we've fired the RCS pyro valve. That system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 29 miles. Downrange distance 39 miles. Current velocity 4,325 miles per hour. Of course, of course, we all watched the uh, last shuttle landings. It was a sad day. Those are always fun to watch. Booster has begun to throttle to maintain three and a half G's. Closed loop steering has begun. Body rates look good. Fun to try to be the cameraman focusing on that stuff. Vehicle is now one quarter of its liftoff weight. RD-180 continues to perform well. Extra ratio looks good. Of course, it's NASA. They probably don't even have a ground camera guy. Camera is probably hooked up to GPS and points right at it. Blue space chill down has begun. So I'm not really sure what parts are 360 if it's that shot there. Blue space chill down has completed. Went up on Pico momentarily. And it would have to be the mounted cams to be Pico. able to do that. And shutdown looks good. And we'll try to find video of how it works. It, there we go. We have stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre start. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL 10. Payload for in jettison has occurred. Looks like a clean step. Centaur steering has been enabled. Body rates look good. Data now coming in from the New Hampshire tracking station. 
range distance, 317 miles, current velocity 10,050 miles per hour. Still data coming in from the Cape as well. Centaur PU is requesting an oxidizer rich condition at this point. Chamber pressures, injector, uh, I'm sorry, box pump discharge and Venturi are within band. Hydrogen system line temperatures are warming towards bottle temperature. Ready. Ready. And we have a quick report of Atlas first stage performance. It was plus 106 pounds of PE or 0.33 sigma high. We have begun seeing our thermal conditioning fairings on the RCX. Now controlling near nominal mixture ratio also. Engine response looks good. Set MR. Centaur now steering and powering the rocket. Centaur is completing the dogleg maneuver. Body rates are now controlling down the middle. Dogleg is complete. And Centauri has begun to roll to optimize telemetry. And to make you dizzy. Are all 10 chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi all look good? Seven minutes into the flight now. Centaur currently is flying at an altitude of 191 miles. Downrange distance is 685 miles. Current velocity 10,538 miles per hour. Ten thousand miles an hour. First Imagine. Centaur is scheduled for 13 minutes and 42 seconds in duration. All systems continue to look very good at this point. Continuing to observe our thermal conditioning firings on the RCS. Signatures look normal. Centaur has completed the roll to optimize telemetry. Going right down the middle at this point. Range track shows good progress on the expected corridor. About another 10 minutes on the Centaur burn. Center cuts off at 18 minutes into the flight. We're just over Center eight. View limiting has completed. Now actively controlling MR. Still near nominal at this point. Anyway, guys, space flight is awesome. I'll keep this running here for a little bit. I'll turn me off unless something comes on pretty cool. But let you guys watch this without having to watch me. Entire tank pressures, bottle pressures are all stable. Battery voltages look good. Centaur currently is flying at an altitude of 219 miles, downrange distance 1,024 miles, current velocity 11. 7,250 miles per hour. Nine and a half minutes in the mission. up on the format change momentarily. Standing by to take Tedris data, Tedris East. And we have had the format change. Small loss of data has resumed. All signatures look good. RL10, 
chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel vent theory all look very good. The fuel rich mixture ratio, I apologize, no, that's oxidizer rich. Range track shows Centaur continuing to make good progress down the expected track. Front altitude, 223 miles. Downrange distance, 1,311 miles. Current velocity, 11,975 miles per hour. Centaur tank pressures continue to look very good. Storage bottle pressures are stable. Batteries look good as well. Still getting data from the New Hampshire station north of Boston, as well as from Tedris East. At 700 seconds mission elapsed time, the RL-10 continues to perform very well. Chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi all controlling near nominal at uh, nominal FMR. RCS fine temperatures need to warm towards bottled temperatures. Pressures look good. Batteries are stable. Range track continues to show Suntour making good progress down the expected track. Continuing to see our normal thermal conditioning firings on the RCS. As commented previously, the line temperatures are still warming towards bottle temperatures. Signatures look good. About five minutes remaining in this Centaur engine burn. Fourteen Continue minutes the into the mission now. <coughs> upper stage parameters show all systems continue to operate nominally. Been very good this far into the flight. Centaur currently is flying at an altitude of 182 miles, downrange distance 2,377 miles, current velocity 14,708 miles per hour.
nominal thermal conditioning firings. RTU is requesting a slightly oxidizer rich condition at this point. Response looks good. Loss of data from the New Hampshire station now north of Boston. Everything coming through the tracking and data relay satellite. Sixteen minutes into the light. Data looks good. Clean burns on the Centaur. Centaur has begun the geo limiting phase just prior to Nico. Under two minutes remain in this burn. Centaur will cut off 18 minutes, 12 seconds into the mission, a little more than two minutes away. And then it will coast for about three minutes. Mars controlling very near nominal. Hydrogen systems are stable. One minute to Miko. And at that point, we'll have about a three minute coast before the Cygnus John Glenn module separates. Our tank pressures continue to look good. Tide rays are stable. RL 10 continues to perform well. Launch plus 18 minutes now. And we have IIP vanish. Centaur is now orbital. And we have Miko. Shutdown looks good. We have 4S settling on. We have begun the turn to separation attitude. This will be a two minute, 49 second coast to spacecraft separation. Orbit at separation 124 miles secular above the Earth. At an inclination of 51.6 degrees. Down and it's stable. Still settling, 4S motors. Still making our turn to separation at Now the Miko 1 plus 3 second open, showing a very good agreement between the brief flight predictions and the actual recorded values for all parameters. Simpler is right where we expect it to be. 
And we're about a minute away from spacecraft separation. And Centaur has completed the turn to spacecraft separation. Heading. Separation in approximately 40 seconds. Our fuel tank has been bent down. It's now stable. And we have spacecraft separation. And the Cygnus has separated from Centaur on the way to the space station. 27 minute and 27 second coast to our second turn, which will deorbit the upper stage. And uh, Cygnus will be rendezvousing with the space station Saturday morning about 6.05 a.m. Well, there you have it, guys. It was successful. Everybody's shaking hands, high fives, hugging. Where else they're up to? Good job, team. Good job. So this will rendezvous with the space station on Saturday. So it'll be chasing it for a few days. So hope you enjoyed this. We will catch you guys later. We always love us a good rocket launch.